Levine is a community in Maricopa County, Arizona, located about eight miles southwest of downtown Phoenix. The small town is located between South Mountain and the Gila and Salt Rivers. The Levine area primarily originated with farms and dairies in 1884. Despite its closeness to Phoenix, the community was also somewhat isolated by the Salt River, which carried water year-round until the Roosevelt Dam was completed in 1911. Levine is split between District 7 and District 8. Both districts are known as Minority Majority Area, which refers to a subdivision in which one or more racial, ethnic, and or religious minorities make up a majority of the local population. Until very recently, Levine was a quiet town with vast farmland, scattered housing developments, and more recently, large corporate warehouses such as Amazon. All of that changed radically over the past five to ten years with the coming of the 202 Highway, which was completed in 2021. Many home developers have built or are currently completing new home developments across Levine. This has had a dramatic effect on the demographics of the community. The average annual household income in Levine is 97969 while the median household income sits at 85007 per year. Residents aged 25 to 44 earn $85,021, while those between 45 and 64 years old have a median wage of $87,152. In contrast, people younger than 25 and those older than 65 earn less at $60,300 and $76,771 respectively. Shortage of low-income housing in Levine. One problem is there are currently no listings for low-income housing in Levine, and you need to go outside a 30-mile radius from Levine, Arizona to find the closest low-income housing and housing assistance agencies. New luxury rentals within Levine go for as much as $29.95 per month. Levine has two high schools from the Phoenix Union High School District, Cesar Chavez and Betty Fairfax. The vast majority of students who attend these high schools, 80 to 85 percent, are minorities and most of those may be low income. Undoubtedly, the lack of affordable housing is having a disproportionate effect on these students and their families. Another current concern for Levine locals is the hot button issue of a proposal for an extended stay hotel to be located near the intersection of 43rd Avenue and Baseline. Of particular concern is that there are three local schools nearby which could be negatively impacted. They have been expressing their frustration on social media and on Facebook with Levine's planning and development group. There will be a meeting with the developers on Thursday, June 29th at the Cesar Chavez Community Center to share their concerns. As Phoenix continues to grow and spread, minority populations in communities such as Levine are disproportionately affected by this growth. Keeping this community safe and affordable must remain a top priority.